Hello y'all. Before I show you how to launch Google Scholar, I want to explain why it's useful. So Google Scholar helps you find relevant work across the world of scholarly research. For example, you can find articles, thesis, books, abstracts, and even court opinions. To begin, open up your web browser and go to Scholar dot google dot com if you have a google account you can sign in and use some of the features google scholar offers but if you don't have an account you can still use google scholar so let's say i'm doing a research project on the causes of the civil war i'll go ahead and type causes of the civil war into the search box so first I want you to look at the tabs on the side. The articles are sorted by relevance. But you can also sort them by a specific date range if you'd like. Now let's go ahead and look at the documents. If you notice some will say book in parentheses and others do not specify. The ones that do not specify are articles. So for example, if I click on one that says book, it's going to take me to a page where it's going to tell me what the book is about, and I can find links that's going to take me uh, to a website that I can either download the book or purchase the book. What I think is going to be most help helpful though is uh, the articles. For example, if I click on this first one, It's going to take me to this page that's going to show me the abstract. So the abstract is basically a summary of the article. This is going to help me learn what the article is about without having to go and read the entire article. So now that I've found an article that I believe can help me in my research, I can go ahead and download the article by clicking the PDF link and here it's going to pull up the article that I've selected. So once I've done that and I've found several resources that I think can help me in my research, I can go ahead and save these resources. So if I click this star here, it's going to save these resources to my library now this is a feature that you can only use if you're logged into your account so as you can see when I click my library here I have both of the resources that I saved another cool feature with Google Scholar is if you click the quotations here it will cite the sources for you in different formats. So here you have MLA, APA, Chicago, Harvard, and Vancouver. So this is just another feature with Google Scholar that can be useful. So there you have it. Just a quick rundown of how to use Google Scholar. I hope it was helpful.